So again, in case, like, it does seem a little weird. I'll show you on the next one. See, when you, remember, look here. It's over, under, over, under, over, under. So now, I'm going to want to go over. Then, um, it seems weird to skip two, but it's really the same string, if you think about it. So, the thickness of it just makes it better, and it looks neater, too, I think. So, um, you can use them as coasters again, and you can use them, why don't you show them like that. You can use them to pick up a hot pot, like, fold it in half. And different things you can use, like you can use the hand you can pick up the handle of the pot with it. It is a little smaller than you might think, but it's it works well and it looks cool. It's not only that it's helpful, but it looks um, cool and it's homemade, so you can be proud of something. And you can hang them on hooks when you have those little things on them. So that you can display them, whatever you want. Alright, we're about halfway done here. Yeah, really, you should you can skip ahead if you're done or if you just want to see the ending. But the ending, when you end it off, it's really easy as long as you are a little familiar with a crochet hook. Um, if you're not familiar, then that's fine too because it's still easy. And as long as you have one, then it really you barely use it. It's just to hold the, the these strings at the end for a little while. But um, mostly, it's just... Um, your hands that I use. If you're really good with it, like you know a knit, crochet, everything, then you might not have to do it the way I do it. You could just use the needle to move it. But or the hook, I should say. So always remember to push everything this way so that they're even with these. Right? It really is starting to look like um, it's um, a pot holder, but once you take the whole um, pot holder off its frame, it looks even better. Honestly, so. So if yours is looking a little messy, it's fine. The set that I got came with a book. Came with a book, um, so you can follow the, some steps. But I think um, that the book describes it a little weird. And but I I got it. I understood. But if you don't, it's fine. Just look it up on YouTube, and here you are. Okay. Don't go like using like these random colors when you're doing it that don't even match because if you don't match your colors also they won't look well actually yeah So we're almost done oh, I'm really sorry to keep
Okay. Um. So now I'm just gonna do some more. Um. Um. Also, when you're doing it towards the end, it might seem like these start to like fall off or something. But um. You need to maybe you need some two people sometimes so that they can pull it, especially later on. I'll show you. But so All right. I only got We got about five or six more. Most of you guys probably aren't even watching it anymore. If you are, it means that you just need to keep on watching it to get the idea. So we're gonna show a lot of close up. Over and under. Now if you're using the same color going this way, it could be a little harder. You need to really feel it to make sure that you're going over to and under to. But it could be relaxing. You can lay down and do it. See, once it gets to the end, it's a little tighter around, so you don't have a lot of room. And you might be scratching your hand against these stuff, and it hurts. But. Alright, so just keep on doing it. Over and under. Never forgetting to change every time you start moving around. Yeah, that's what you gotta have to start doing by the end. Because they're so tight at the end. This is what you don't want to happen. You gotta push down.
almost done. Last one. Then I'll show you how to end it off with a crochet needle. Oh, and when you're all done, um, when I show you the ending, by the time you're all done with the ending, the last thing you just pull through, so I don't have to show you that later, you just pull through and it'll make, um, a loop. If you have any trouble, just comment. We can make another video. Alright. Soon, a few minutes. I mean, like a few, like a minute. Wow, we finished the ending one. This one is the hardest one. It's so tight, there's barely any room to work with. That you kind of have to take off each one like that. And put it over it. Every other one. Sometimes you can do it, but... There's just not a lot of room, so it just snaps off. So you might as well just take the one off and put it over it. And by the end, I'll show you how to end it real quick. Alright, now, you're going to need a crochet needle, crochet hook, crochet hook, okay, so what you're going to do, is once you're all done, you're going to take one side, like this, and point the corner away from you, and you're going to take the one, on the right, take it off, and put it on the hook. Then you want to take the other one on the other side on the left, and take that off, put it on the hook. Take this one off before it, and put it off. And then just keep on going this way. Show you closer. So you take this one off the hook, put it onto the crochet hook, and then take the one before that around it so this one's still on. And just continue doing that the whole way around. By the time it's your last loop, let's say, let's just say that this was your last loop, you would pull through to the top and then you'd be all done. And you'd have that. That's how you make your ending one. Alright? So thanks for watching. Hope this has helped. Bye.